What up, everybody? Cardboard Moses, which you're welcome. Uh, time to do another break. 2017-18 NBA Hoops Basketball. 20 bucks, full case break number five. <sighs> Strap yourself in, uh, kids. It's going to take us about two and a half hours to do this. No lie. No lie. I wish I was lying, but I'm not. 10 case break next weekend going up on eBay. I wonder if, you know, you know what, JV? I know you're probably joking, but if it makes money, it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Oh, boy. Hey, NBA Hoops. How have you been? So nice to see you. A 10 case player hoop break. That might be that might be that might be money right there. That might be a really good idea. Listen, it, it's not it's not that bad if I have, you know, the Jesus with me. If we were tag teaming that and we likely are going to be uh We'll get that thing done in like maybe 12 hours. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's start this journey here. Make sure to, to put put the alarm on for like two and a half hours. Uh, if you want to, you know, put a snooze button on there or something, you know, go ahead, go take a nap. Maybe work on your taxes a little bit early. Then, uh, you know, I don't blame you. It is a lot to sort. And I'll be honest with you, I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> because, uh, dude, I'm getting out of the office at like 6, 7 in the morning, bro. And I'm going to home, and I maybe I'll like watch a Netflix show for like an hour or two before I go to sleep. I wake up, it's like 5 something, so I gotta eat, you know. And then come in and do it all over again. So like I like I, I feel like I don't even leave the office sometimes. Doing a fifty box NFL mixer PYT, that might be cool. Uh, it would have to go eBay style, obviously. Um, that's interesting. I'm not sure how well a mixer would go over, unless they were like unopened cases mixer style. But that might be a cool that might be a cool idea. Well, listen, I don't, I don't do taxes, so I don't worry. Hey, you guys want to know something cool? Fun fact, it takes me longer to open up the packs than it does for me to actually go through them. Fun fact. Get in on it. I don't know if I'll do like a 50, 50 box mixer or something like that. But it definitely sounds like a cool idea. Uh, obviously would have to look at numbers. If the numbers look right, then I don't see why not. What up, Death Amongst All? How you doing? Yo, I'm going to need a fucking energy drink at some point tonight. I feel it already. I'm gassed. Like, this was the last break I did last night, and it's the first one that I just did. <laughs> ah, I feel like, I feel like I've never stopped breaking the hoops, man. Like, I feel like I'm in a loop right now. I feel like I'm fucking, is this like, what is that, what's the, what's, what's the Groundhog Day? I, well, I forget the, the guy's name, Bill Murray. Bill motherfucking Murray. That's what I feel like I am right now. Groundhog Day. Super Bowl weekend, this like the Saturday. Hold up, question: Are they still doing like the Pro Bowl? 
like, didn't they switch up the Pro Bowl format? Like, I don't know why I'm throwing this out there, but I could have sworn the Pro Bowl was, like, the day before the Super Bowl now. Death of Monstall, you're sick as a dog? I'm sorry to hear that, bro. I am sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better, man. Let Uncle Jesse soothe you with the, uh, this insane amount of base cards that comes out of this NBA Hoops. Let it, let it uh, be a nice, warm lullaby that'll put you to sleep. And that's really what you need right now, man. You need to be resting, dude, if you're sick. I have yet to see Alonzo Ball Auto. I, I think I've just about pulled, like, the top seven, eight picks already. I have yet to see Alonzo, which I'm, I'm beginning to think is like a unicorn. Ooh, Dion Weeders. That's actually a sick-ass card. I wish I could keep that. That is sweet. 5 out of 10. Nice. Nice way to start the break there. With a little Dion Waiters action. For the heat. So you know I got to sleeve it and top load it. And of course, no, well, mainly because it's numbered to 10. That's really no, really low. Low, low. It's pick your team AFC versus NFC. And it's done the week before the Super Bowl. Hmm. I, I, I care about the Pro Bowl, Rick. It's actually kind of fun. Dwayne Bacon of the Hornets with our first autograph. He went to Florida State. I know that because, you know, I saw the card that shows he goes to Florida State. Um, woke up this morning with a pounding headache. Fever throwing up. Damn, dude. Um, I'm not sure if you're uh, into it, but maybe look into some holistic medicine if you catch my drift. Um, there's a player pool with captains picking players. What the fuck? What is this like? Uh, I feel like it's recess or something. Yeah, I pick such and such. So they picked the lineman and everything too. That must be cool. You gotta be feel. You gotta feel pretty cool as a lineman to be like, especially if you're like the number one pick as a lineman. That'd be kind of cool. Always looking forward to the Super Bowl. Ouch, Rick. Ouch. That's. If it wasn't like sixty to seventy percent true, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be mad. But I'm furious right now of how accurate that statement probably is. Especially after that performance my team put up last night. I don't want to talk about it. You don't watch All Star games? It's a joke. Ow. That is not a joke though. Jabari Parker. Auto for the Bucks. That's sweet. Hope my man can stay healthy because he's a hell of a player. What it do, uh, sports card freak? You just tuned into the greatest break on earth, man. NBA hoops, baby. NBA hoops, baby. Steelers for the Super Bowl 2017. You know they've been they've been getting a lot of talk lately about uh, potentially making a Super Bowl run here. Um. I don't know. I can't really get put my two cents onto that because I haven't really been watching the Steelers. Uh, I'll be watching the Dolphins, baby. Every you know, and I say it every year. Oh, we going we got it this year. We got it this year. We never got it. Well, listen. I'm I'm glad I haven't gone and uh, seen any other humans because I, I really don't want human contact right now uh, after yesterday's performance with the Dolphins you know I'm liable to smack anybody that says anything about the Dolphins really they were so bad dude like they did not want to be out there that's what it looked like it looked like they didn't even want to play Ooh, 
Rick, all I'm going to say is, as a Dolphins fan, first and foremost, F the Patriots. Uh, secondly, uh, and foremost, should have been the number one, F Tom Brady. Uh, I hope he gets injured. And thirdly, I hope we can at least beat you guys once this year. We beat the Jets once. We lost to them once. Whatever. Uh, we play y'all. I think we played the Bills already and lost. No, I lied. We haven't played the Bills yet. Or the Patriots. We play y'all later on in the year. So, here's hoping we can beat you guys. What's up, Chad? Simpson says type 1 if Tatum drops. Uh... I don't think I'm going to remember to do that, to be honest. We do have a winning record. We're 4-3, and three, but who cares, bro? Like, look at our record. It's, like, it's 4-3, and three, but, like, really look at the record. Two of those losses, we didn't score a single point. A single point. Yeah, you're right about that one, though, Rick. You got to score points to beat the Patriots. Definitely right. That's what I'm saying. I hope Tom Brady gets injured. So then, you know, we don't got to worry about that. And I know you're going to say, oh, but we got Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah, but come on. Even you know that ain't no Tom Brady. He ain't going to do nothing. That should be the new chant. Whenever he comes to Miami, I'm going to try to make that a thing. Hashtag F Tom Brady. There it is. New hashtag has been born. Get that thing trending. Hashtag F Tom Brady. Because seriously, F Tom Brady. It's, it just looks so clean. It just looks so clean. Hashtag F Tom Brady. It just looks so clean. It looks so right. I think that hashtag could blow up. You agree Garoppolo is uh, overrated? I mean, haters going to hate because that's all we can do. That's all we can do. You know, my hatred is solely out of just how great he is, man. He really is great. And, you know, here are my Dolphins who just can't seem to, you know, find the quarterback. <sighs> one day, man. One day. Or, you know, maybe I wonder if we could get to that point where, like, we have such a disgusting defense that we don't have to score points because our defense scores points for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to have defense like the Bucks did when the number one defense played the number one offense. Remember that? That's the only Super Bowl that has ever happened. And you remember what happened that game. Raiders got fucking... Titty fucked. It was terrible. If we can get a defense like that, then we might have a chance. But I don't see us getting a quarterback anytime soon. That just the whole front office. It's just a shit show. Damn, Simpson has no audio either, and he's not watching. Damn, no love. Oh, well, I guess he is watching. Yeah, Baltimore Ravens definitely titty fucked the Dolphins last night. They, uh, they, dude, they had two pick sixes. They hit Matt Moore on like every snap. Matt Moore is who I thought he was. You know, ain't nothing changed. I don't know why people suddenly got excited. Oh, Matt Moore's the quarterback now. I mean, he's a slight upgrade over Jay Cutler, but not by that wide a margin. I don't think Jay Cutler would have done any better against the Ravens, if I'm being honest. I really, why don't we just sign Kaepernick, dude, like, <sighs> sign me, I'd be a better quarterback, Willie Hernan Gomez for the Knicks with the auto, and there's only two autos per box in this deal. 
and then the amount of inserts but really the amount of base is what's just well, kind of overwhelming shout outs to the Ravens though they they did the thing so there goes the auto 400 panini points and you know how I do I combine them bad boys I combine the panini points for one massive major blockage Lyle Stevenson there for the Pacers is to 9-9 nine, nine. Chicka chicka wow That's it yeah, I, I agree, Chad. I'm not a fan of putting any points. I re I'm really not. Mainly, I mean, I get the appeal, and to some degree, it is kind of cool. And, and you know, concept-wise, oh, you know, you get a certain amount of points, you could redeem them for, you know, something super cool. Yeah, that's cool. But I'd much rather get the card. Like, I just give me the card. Redemptions too. Like, just give me the card. Just print it and put it in the box. Well, Rick, that's when Miami had amazing defenses. That's when we. That's the only reason why we were getting into the playoffs back in back then, was because our defense was top five every single year. Like, we had we were stacked at every position. Jason Taylor. We had Zach Thomas leading the linebackers. We had, you know, Brock Marion out there at safety. Sean Matt, um, Sam Madison, Patrick Sertain locking down the corners. Like, the defense was stacked, bro. Look at that. Look at the beating my fingers are taking from all these packs I'm opening. For y'all. For y'all. I'm going to have to use another finger. That's ugly. That doesn't feel right. Oh, yeah. Tom, I mean, Tom Brady would even tell you he hates playing the Dolphins. He's, he's come out and said it before, or at least back when Jason Taylor was playing, he used to say, you know, he hates playing the Dolphins because, one, we low-key kind of got their number, kind of. You know, every two years, we'll beat them bad. <laughs> but seriously, I think, he, you know, I remember watching an interview of his once uh, many moons ago, and he flat out said... He has, like, the utmost respect for the Dolphins, and he hates playing them the most. Because of people like Jason Taylor and such. And we know, dude, when it comes to Tom Brady, his Achilles heel is he does not like to get hit. He does not like to get hit. That's why he's always in the shotgun position. The la When's the last time you've seen Tom Brady take a snap from the center? Under center. It's been a while. Unless he's handing that ball off, it's a, it's been a while. Yeah, Patriots do suck in Miami. This is true. Just like the Dolphins suck in uh, in New England. And I think both have to do with the hookers. Rah, rah, I think you're onto something. I think you're onto something there. You know, the, the hookers in Miami are amazing. Not that I would know, but, you know... Uh, that's that's what the that's what it sells on Yelp and whatnot, you know, uh, five star ratings. Uh, in New England, mm, not so much. I will say this though, as badly as the Ravens beat down the Dolphins, I can't really hate the Ravens because low key I'm kind of a Ravens fan. Like, I, I dig that whole, the, the Ravens-Steelers rivalry, 
Dude, one of the best in the NFL, in my opinion. Those boys always go after it. They always, you know what I'm saying? They always tough. They always going at it. It's always a good game. Ha, <laughs> they, exactly. They went out with the Miami cocaine coat. That's what, so, oh my God. That's so hilarious, the cocaine coach. <laughs> yeah, already the man got a name. Rara, you do know your football, man. That's what we really good at in Miami here. We may not win fo football games, but uh, we're definitely great at extracurricular activities. All right, let's kind of take this to, to the next gear. You know, I'm trying to separate the inserts, but you know what I'm going to start doing? I'm going to start to not care. And I'm just going to go through them. And I'm just going to separate any numbered cards I see. Except this. That ain't no numbered card, but it is an auto, baby. LaMarcus Aldridge of the Spurs. I do not remember that player. Uh... Sports Cards Freak. I do remember McDuffie. I remember us not really having a running game. Low key. Marino never really had a running game. If he did, oh boy. What'd it do, Josh? That's done. That's done as well. Oh, I remember Al Jabbar, Abdul Kareem. I don't I want to say his number was like thirty three or something like that. Uh, well, it didn't happen in Miami. One, it happened in uh, in Baltimore. If that happened in Miami, we'd probably be there'd probably be riots right now. There would probably be some riots happening right now cuz that was just a disgusting performance. For uh, for a lack of a better word. It's really bad. I'm glad it happened though, low key. I I'm, I'm curious to see what, you know, coach Gase is going to do. I'm I hope I hope heads are going to roll. Tyler Dorsey of the Hawks with the auto. Dude, honestly, I don't know what I don't know what you feel, Josh, or if you saw the entire game, but I honestly feel like they didn't feel like playing. Like they did not want to be there. Maybe the whores in Baltimore are better than the whores in Miami. Uh, I don't know. Bills just traded Marcel Darius to the Jags. Uh, well, damn, the Jags just got a little bit better. What did the Bills get in return? Oh, Flacco got murdered. That was out of sheer frustration. And uh, I don't blame Kiko Alonso. He was trying to get the team fired up on that one. Was it a cheap shot? Um... I don't know about that, you know, because Kiko's really not a dirty player. That would be the first instance I can recall of him making a dirty play. Um, was it a dirty hit? Kind of. Well, Baltimore's also known for that C. It's just a different C. Uh, sports car trick. Um, did you see the wire? Only like one of the greatest shows ever. Ooh, so Chad liking the suns there, huh?
What report are you talking about, Rick? What you talking about, Rick? Yo, I, I wish somebody could, like, go to CVS for me real quick. And buy me, like, two monsters. Take a break. Take a little swig of my juice. Well, who was involved in the trade aside from uh, from from Darius? I don't know, Josh. I think you might make it in time. You know, this thing takes me like two and a half hours. Are Rockstar energy drinks any good? Um, I think I've had one before. It's it's a, I, I I just kind of prefer Monster for the simple fact that it's uh, it's green. That's my favorite color. Uh, I'm weird like that. And number two, I I feel like it kind of it tastes good to me. Like it doesn't really taste like gasoline or anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've never tried that one. I've tried red line. That shit doesn't really taste good. Red Bull tastes pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie. Red Bull does taste pretty good, but it don't do nothing to the boy. I got I gotta drink like two of them boys to to feel a little. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't state who else is in the trade, huh? Monster energy drinks lead to diabetes. Listen. Everything leads to diabetes. If I eat enough Snickers, I'm gonna be in, in diabetes city. You know what I'm saying? If I if I eat enough apple pies, I'm gonna have, to, bro. No matter what I do in life, I'm gonna get fucked somehow, some way. So I've reached Nirvana, and I just realized, you know what? I'm gonna live my life however I want. But you know what though, Ra-Ra, I feel you looking out for the boy, so I do appreciate you, because I'm not going to lie, like, there was a time where I, I had like, I think it was during the National, I drank like two Red Bull, like not two Red Bulls, I drank two Monsters, and you know those cans are fucking huge, they're like, you know what I'm saying, they're like 20, I don't know how many ounces are in that bad boy, but there's a lot, I drank like two of them, like within a span of like, I want to say three to four hours, and, bro, I could feel my heart just pounding. I was jittery as hell. Like, and it wasn't even like that I had energy. I was more so just scared to close my eyes because I was afraid that they wouldn't open again. Bills are getting a six-round pick. Damn, the Jags. The Jags just got really good low-key on defense. Their secondary is pretty pretty sick as it is. Now their D-line just got a little bit better. And they're doing this with Blake Bortles at quarterback. What's the record for the Jags? What are they like? Aren't they like 4-3 or something like that? I think they got a decent record, don't they? I know Fournette's been low-key crushing it. You drank a 12-pack of Red Bull in high school? That's, uh... That doesn't sound like a good time. James Bodine, thank you for that. I appreciate that. Quick, how drunk are you? For the Nets, Rondé Hollis Jefferson with the auto. I think uh, 
That's it for the autos in this box. Gonna go back to opening packs. Yay. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, James Bow, uh, one, uh, one Bleezy at the end of the night, every night. Sterling Brown with the auto for the Buccaronis. Look at this guy, Death Among Stalls. So you bought out the company... And uh, James Bodine, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, so you bought out the company, so low key, can you hook me up with a job? I, 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 I am your friendly neighborhood breaker, James Bodine. That's what I am. That's what I am, good sir. Aw, oh, shit. I think I already know what I'm going to eat when I get up out of here, yo. I need something to look forward to. I'm going to go to, like, Pinecrest Bakery. And I'm going to give me like a pan con biste and a medianoche, bitch. That shit's going to be awesome. Diabetes and heart failure, here I come. Well, listen, I'm a drunk too, James Bodeen, but like only on the weekends. Actually, I lied. Dude, I haven't... I haven't actually... Well, I lied. The last time I drank was last Saturday uh, at the Hurricane game. Uh, but before that, dude, I had a drink. I haven't had a drink in a long time, actually. Absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence, James Bodine. I will say that. Let that let that one linger in your life, James Bo. Listen to a song about the married life? No, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you, man, marriage is not for me, bro. The thought of like being with one person for the rest of my life is just like, it's weird to me. Like, I don't know if I can explain it, but it kind of, it doesn't feel natural to me. I'm not that I'm saying I'm a pol you know like a polygamist or anything or what or a polyamorous or whatever you call it. Exactly, James Bodine. I'm an independent woman who don't need no man, but I can find a man anytime I want. You're correct, James Bodine. Exactly, control my own destiny, Ra Ra. You've used your 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 evil Sith mind tricks to uh, to change my mind. I've I've crossed over into the dark side now. Unless I meet this pretty little little thing, I might put babies in her. But I don't know if I'll get married though. Like, I'm a hunter-gatherer, yo. I don't need to be here settled down. I need to be out there hunting and gathering. You know what I'm saying? Well, listen. This is true. We're all crazy in Florida. Yes. Uh, but, I mean, I love I love Florida. There's no place like home. Anytime I get out of Florida, I feel so weird. Like, I don't feel safe. You know what I'm saying? I feel like everybody's looking at me. I feel like I'm the oddball out. And I kind of am. But, like, how do you know? 
You hate Florida? Well, hey. Stay out of here, son. Yes, this is true. Have you ever been to Miami, James Bodine? You, you could hate Florida, but have you been to Miami? Oh, you have. And you still don't like it? Well, maybe you should go to Key West. Maybe that's uh, more of your, 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 your liking. Oh no! Hold on. You were you went to Fort Lauderdale, buddy. Fort Lauderdale is fucking boring as shit. I would rather watch a marathon break of NBA hoops basketball than to go to fucking Fort Lauderdale. There's nothing to do in Fort Lauderdale. Like they have a beach and like that's it. But we got beaches everywhere. Shot it. There's no reason for you to go to Fort Lauderdale. Is what I'm saying. If you have family there. I, I feel so sorry for you. I'm sorry that you have to go through that experience. Or that your you know family, loved ones, whatever, that live in Fort Lauderdale. Because it sucks. It really is boring. Now, the Fountain Blue in Miami Beach. Now, that's a different story. Um, now, there, you could probably have a good time. Now, the question is, did you? Oh, sounds good, Angelo. I mean, yeah, that's when when stuff like that happens, like when they combine uh, some of the shipping stuff, like giveaways and things like that. I can't really track it because since there's it's a it's a giveaway, we don't we didn't sell it through the store. You get what I'm saying? I I just gave it away uh, for the Pacers, Darren Collison. So there would be no tracking information generated for it for it because it wasn't sold. So that's why I was kind of like, you know, just, you know, trying to figure out what happened to it. And my, you know, as we both guessed, it was just combined. You could see the fountain blue from the, from your place. Nice. You, you almost died from a sunburn. Well, all right. So you know what you sound like? Never mind, you made up for it. James Bodine, Miami Beach is definitely great. Uh, that boy Jers, though. That boy Dodgers, though. What is that? I can't really click on nothing right now, homeboy. OG Anunobi. For the Raptors, though. It's called Sun Poisoning. It's called Stay Your Ass in the Shade. It's called Get Your Melanin Up. It's called Hashtag... Where's that sunscreen at, though? It's called the Man Song. Whoa. Well, I can't really listen to music right now, bruh. Because uh, if I do, YouTube's going to mute my video. And that's no bueno. You fell asleep under the sun at Fountain Blue. That sounds like, you know, you just fucked up. That's why, that's, that's why you got burnt like that, dude. That's something straight out of a movie, James Bodine. I know you're a comedian, so that is hilarious. I feel like that was in a movie or something. What box is this, Uncle Jesse? It's box number six, if anyone was on there. I know because I'm I'm keeping I'm I'm keeping track. Well, listen. You had a bad time, James Bodine, because you need you need you know you need you need an adult is what it looks like. You need an adult at all times. Where's James? I don't know. Go look for James. Oh, you were twelve. Oh, okay. So then, hold on. I don't know how old you are now, so I'm just trying to figure out or like what era this was. I'm trying to I'm trying to see what kind of uh, Miami Beach scenery you had at the time, because you know, considering the decade, it would be a different landscape. And the parents were doing it in the room. Hey, well, can you blame them? I mean, you've had some whoopee before. You know it's great. Shit, let me have some kids, boy. I'm gonna be what? You come in here and you watch. 
Let the boy watch. <laughs> ah, that reminds me of uh, Eastbound and Down. No, let the boy watch. It was it was 1972. I was 12. I fell asleep on the beach, and my dumb ass got sunburnt. The end. Yeah, that sounds like a movie. A bad one. Let the boy watch. Hashtag let the boy watch. A bad sunburn. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Like, all jokes aside, I can't say I've been sunburned because have you seen my skin? I'm a, I've been genetically engineered to withstand some sunlight, baby. I mean, I have had some sunburns though. Don't, don't get me wrong. It just hasn't been as bad as some of my uh, some of my whiter friends. It's not a. Uh, it's not fun. From what, I, from just from seeing it, it doesn't look fun. Like, I've seen really bad, like, sunburns where, like, you get boils and shit. And then, like, there's liquid in there. And it's like, oh, man. I know you say that with love, James Bow. The wife says F. <laughs> well. Hi, wife. How, how are you? So I started no shave November early. I haven't shaved all of October. You just type that. Oh, that's love right there. The couple that hates together stays together. That is true. That's a true statement. It's not so much about love, but you know, if you both mutually hate the same things. You know, study show, probably going to stay together for a long time. And you both hate Moses. There you go. See? Hence why the marriage works. Oh, you, you did your dog, Jesse. That's adorable. Alec Burks for the Jazz. That's an adorable auto. I mean, not really. That's actually kind of a, a weird auto. Like, I don't know if that's lazy or ingenious. I don't know. Jesse James Bodine. Wow, that's a mouthful. You named your dog a human name instead of like Skittles or something like that. I miss Princess. I miss my little bitch. Marcus Smart to 25 for the Celtics. That is nice. What, Princess is a cat's name? Don't tell me how to live my life. Or Skittles. Skittles is a cat's name. And Snickers is a dog's name. Next dog I have, I'm going to name him Snickers. Come here, Snickers. I'm just going to call him Dog. Come here, Dog. That reminds me. Uh, my boy Mario, he has a brother. Who, uh, who named his dog like Puppy. But the pronunciation is like funky. It's like Pupy or Pupy or something. Pippy or something like that. It's a, it's a weird pronunciation. But it's fucking hilarious. It's Pupy. It's Pippy. Whatever the fuck it is. But it's funny as hell. Derek White. Pet Uppy. Pippy. Peppy, Peppy, there it is. Derek White for the Spurs, there it is. You call, I call Jesse James dog all the time. Well, there you go. I mean, that's my first and last name. I mean, first and last. That's my first and middle name. Fun fact. You had a dog named Pappy. You had many, many dogs in your lifetime, huh, James Bow? 
I like how you gotta put the year too. <laughs> ah, my dog is funny as fuck. James Bodine, you're my guy, bro. Your boy's dog is named Nada. Nice. I have a homeboy who named his dog Google. Come here, Google. But I swear to God, next time I get a dog, I'm going to just call him dog. Come here, dog. Here, dog. Or maybe I'll just call him boy. Come here, boy. Hey, boy. Look, boy. Go get it, boy. Good boy. Simple. I believe that is it for this box. Well, that's a rookie. So never mind. Swoop swoop. That's it for that. No moss. What's what are you? Uh, I forgot the boxer's name. Roberto Duran. See, I was too late with the joke. You know, the thing about comedy, it's all about timing. It's all about timing. Oh, Duran was great, you know. I'd be great too if I had rocks in my in my gloves. But he did though, James Bow. I saw the I saw the I saw the video. He puts his gloves up and he's like no mas. Uh no Tatum's just yet, uh Simpson. If anybody could, you know, let my boy know. Because as you can see, my hands are kind of preoccupied right now. He still quit, James Bow. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, not not really, James Bow. It's more so of a, of a competition thing. Cause as a fellow alcoholic, you know, I can't, I can't let you be, you know, be beating me. I also like the 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 wit match. You know what I'm saying? The the back and forth that always you know amuses me. I'm a beer taster too, you know, I just, I don't get paid for it. I love you too, James Bo. Yeah, but you get paid for it by default, James Bo, because of the fruit of your loins. That's not, actually that is something to be proud of. My seed grants me unlimited beer. You got it made in the shade, bruh. 
Those are good problems to have. Ugh. What happened, honey? Nothing, you know. I just gotta go to work and taste these beers. Ugh. Oh my god, sounds so stressful. Oh no. Tell me about it. Oh shit, isn't there a, a baseball game on tonight? The uh, the Dodgers versus the what do you call those boys? Astros. I did, you know. I gotta help her. I gotta help put her through college, you know. At eight twenty, oh damn, yeah, I'll definitely won't be in time. I uh, done in time for that. The next three nights are in Houston. Oh shit. Astros undefeated at home too. Well, Baseball King looks pretty upset there. You must have done something uh, pretty bad for him to ban you. Justin Jackson of the Kings. That was, uh, yeah. It's Friday, it's Friday. You guys ever hear that song? I forget what her name is. Miranda. Oh, it's Miranda Black. There we go. That's what I was going to say. Did I, pl I do play a mean game of tetherball. I do. I'm undefeated. I also have pretty sweet nunchuck skills. Well, Jeff Withy of the Mavericks with the auto. You're undefeated? I'm undefeated. I think we got to play a game. Settle, settle once and for all. Who's the undisputed? Later, man. That's it for that box. Not to mention, I have sweet dance moves. Shut up, Tina. Eat your dinner. You played me back in 2006? <laughs> Unlikely. I was too busy picking up hot babes on the internet. Make your own case of, make your own damn case of deal. Dude, I fucking love that movie. That's one of the very few movies I could watch, like, all day, every day. My favorite character... Who's your favorite Napoleon Dynamite character? Mine would probably be have to be Uncle Rico. Uncle Rico's a fucking clown. <laughs> I bet you I could throw this football clear over the mountains. That sounds like a great Saturday, James Bo. Especially if you were fucking dr you, if you were drunk as shit, that movie was probably hilarious. <laughs> ah, I'm just like remembering that movie, dude. That shit's fucking so stupid, but it's so funny, dog. Like, oh my god. 
fucking Kip had me dying when he fucking showed me his fucking his girlfriend. What's her What's her fucking name? <laughs> what's that chick's name? Oh, like something ridiculous, bro. Lafonda. There we go. <laughs> Lafonda. Oh shit. And when he like pimps her, when he when she pimps him out, oh my god, dude, it's fucking great, bro. Fucking Kip with a fucking do rag on. <laughs> Ah! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh yeah, dude, the chain that he has too is fucking stupid, dude. Peace out, peace out. Fucking love Kip, dude. Kip in the karate class. Bow to you, sensei! I'm gonna flick the wrist, step away. Flick the wrist, step away. Dude, they're like, that movie's so stupid. I forgot, there's a fucking time machine. <laughs> ah, and they gotta put the crystals in it. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Dude, the karate teacher's fucking great, bro. I want those pants. I want those pants he had on, dude. Fucking America. Oh, shit. Dude, I'm crying. I'm literally crying laughing. Oh, man. That was fun. I haven't laughed that good in a long time. That movie's great, dude. I wish I could... Man, I don't think they have that shit on Netflix. I want to watch that shit again, though. <clears throat> oh, man. Give me your best shot. Slaps the fuck out of him. There's so many great moments. Your mom went to college. Oh, dude. Pedro, Pedro was the man, dude. Pedro was the man. Vote for Pedro. I want that t-shirt. You'll make your dreams come true. There it is, Rara. -ra. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Kip and the rag. <laughs> is that a Wu Tang? Like he has the what is that? Like a fucking bird or something? As his charm or whatever the fuck? Oh my god. Oh shit, dude. That movie's too much, bro. That movie's too much. Bro, I like that Uncle Rico was going around selling fucking, like, <laughs> Tupperware. <laughs> that movie's so dumb. Oh, shit. Yo. I need to watch that movie again, bro. That movie is a classic. You, I, I think you have to be, like, a certain degree of stupid to watch that. Um, uh, yes, David, uh, we do, like, for example, uh, if you win a certain team, let's say you win the Heat in a basketball break, uh, for eBay, you will receive every single card, uh, but it depends on the break, um, with the exception of this product, NBA Hoops, we do not ship veteran base, um, we ship everything else, though. Someone had Uncle Rico as their screen name and went broke. Damn, that sucks. Let me have some of your tots, Napoleon. Give me some, give me some of your tots. Dude, Uncle Rico's a legend. Uncle Rico is a legend. I forgot that homegirl has that, uh, that freaking, like, she does, like, photography too on the side. Like, that chick is into everything. She's trying to get into college, y'all. I would like to know what part of town was that. What, like, where was that in the United States? I need to know. I need to go there. I would live there. I would be, oh my god. I'd open up my own dojo slash breaking operation. It was in Idaho. Dude, fucking love Idaho. Gary Payton II for the Bucks. 
Damn, if he if he's half as good as his dad, that's gonna be a sweet card. Especially if he uh, for the Bucks out there, they got a little squad. Yeah, Jan gave me some bracelets too, yo. She looked out for the boy. The karate instructor was dating the freaking muscle bound chick, if I remember correctly. Every time you watch, dude, I su I've seen that movie so many times. I know like damn near every detail from every scene. I've never seen that picture, though, of, of Rico. Rico Dynamite? That's so awesome. Playing for the Broncos. Uh, what do we do with the veteran base? Uh, I'm not sure. I think we donate it. Josh Hart of the Lakers with the auto. The mixtape was super epic. The song that they play, uh, Jamiroquai. Is the name of that uh, well of the artist for that song when Napoleon's dancing? <laughs> I do not take the hoops base home. Uh, no, thank you. I don't think I could pinpoint like a favorite scene in that movie either. Because there's so many great parts. Yeah, like, there needs to be a sequel to this. Like, whatever happened to LaFonda and Kip? You know? Did that chick ever get into college? You know? What's Uncle Rico up to? Is Tina still not eating her dinner? You know? Did Napoleon ever make himself that dang quesadilla? Like, so many questions unanswered. The whole movie is literally greatness. Like, there's never a low point in that movie. Like, and it's like it's it's a shame because when it, when when I do talk to my friends that are like, I love movies. Like, I'm I'm one of those weird people. Like, I literally I love movies. Like, I'll sit and watch a movie just because it has a bad rating, just to see what makes it a bad movie. Like, why did people rate this movie so low? You know what I mean? And Napoleon, when I first saw it, it was one of those movies where, like, a lot of my friends, and I was hearing a lot about it, was like, this movie sucks. You know, there's no plot to it. It doesn't make any sense. It's so stupid, blah, blah, blah. And I actually saw it, sat there and watched the movie, and it's, it's fucking amazing. It really is, like, one of the funniest movies I could, like, like, that I can remember. Like, it's a really funny movie. And, you know, what's what's even funnier about it is, like, it's real. Like, shit like that. Like, that's how awkward high school is. Like, well, n well not really. Well, yeah, some of my friends do suck. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but, I mean, it's just not everyone's cup of tea. You know, the thing with Napoleon Dynamite, there's no in-between. You know, with some movies, with a lot of popular movies, you know, there's people that liked it. There's people that didn't like it. And there's people that are kind of, like, indifferent about it. Napoleon Dynamite, there is no in between. You either love it or you hate it. Well, some of them don't, James Bow, so you're you're correct there. Uh, Angelo, that sounds good because I definitely need a break uh, from all this hoops action. And the, the NC baseball is coming up after that, so it'll be a it'll be a quick break. Uh, I got you, Angelo. We're almost uh, done with the, what was it? <clears throat> Where's that NT College at? I think it's still at eight spots. I would like to get Prism filled also on the website. You know this boogie is for real. 40 year old version is another really fucking funny movie.
That guy's such a tool. Sports card freak. That guy's a straight up tool. Like all he does the entire movie is like scoff and make that one face. <laughs> you know this boogie is for real. I need to listen to that song now. I think it's called Can of Worms or something like that. Can Heat is the name of the song for anyone wondering. Pretty funky song. Like the dude that sings the song is really dope. Look at all this base. Oh yeah. So much base. Yeah. You found it, it's freaking nature. Final insert. That's the second one I've seen of that. That's pretty cool. I mean, I have it on my phone. Like, the dude, Jamiroquai, he's dope-ass artist. Each one more of the Pelicans. With the auto. Still haven't seen anything, like, really amazing in this case. Hoping the rest of it uh, has some fuego. DJ Leaf for the Pacers with the auto. Whoop, whoop. All right, so we have reached the hour mark. More or less, and I am about halfway. I'm actually exactly halfway. This is box number 10. <sighs> should have talked to CBJ. This should have been like a half case break, like seriously. Freaking Kip, talking to Hot Babes all day. Let me check the store real quick. We bought a few cases of it. I mean, I think we got like... I've been through four. This is five. I got another one here that's six. I got like three more in the cage. That's nine. I think we got like 15 cases of it, Rara. Mm, I didn't get around to asking 
or answering those questions I should say hey your wife is driving that fast nice yeah I mean I think we got like 20 15 or 20 cases of it Well, Kyle, just make sure the wife uh, is careful out there, because at those speeds, you know, a little pothole or like, you know, any little rock or anything could cause, you know, major damage. So be safe out there, Kyle. Well, what time is it out there? It's like, what, 5.17 or some shit? So you should still have some daylight. I can only imagine some of those roads up there, like on the on the north in the northwest, because of all the mountains. It's probably it's probably dark as hell. That shit would be actually kind of scary to drive through, in my opinion. Oh, she's doing 82. Oh, that's solid. I would love to visit the West Coast, man. But once these uh, brakes take off, and your boy is big time, you know what I'm saying? When your boy is one of the top three breakers in the world, I'll do some cool shit. Like, I'll do breaks from, like, all over the world, yo. Like, one week I'll break from the Eiffel Tower, you know what I'm saying? The next week I'm breaking from like Yellowstone or something. I got a volcano in the back. <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. I will say this, man. Like, after this break, I'm going to hit that vending machine up. I wonder if they have some, like, energy drink or something, man. Like, I could feel myself, like, slowly losing charge on the good old battery. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be another long one. Oh, the game should be on now, huh? The good old, good old World Series. Chicka, chicka, well, well. Two more PSI in this ball, and we would have been in the Super Bowl. Did he actually say that in the movie? Hey. Got a little baseball going for your boy. Going for the Pacers, Darren Collison with the autograph. What up, Braden? How you doing, man? How's everything with you? Just doing some NBA hoops. I'm halfway through the break. Uh, the eBay break, of course. Any Kings hits? Uh, not yet, dude. I'll be honest, man. That was the only De'Aaron Fox I've seen, and I've gone through five cases of it. So, uh, kind of lucky there. You got any plans for the weekend, Braden?
I might be going to the Heat game tomorrow. Might go to the Heat game tomorrow. Uh, yeah, Brayden, this is this takes a long time. Uh, I've done everything I can possibly imagine to go through it as quickly as possible. You know, I, I've gotten to the point where I'm only sleeving autographs. Like this one. Derek White of the Spurs. Gonna play PS4 all weekend. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, the World Series game is on, boy. Like, it's first pitch is about to go down right now. Well, I am on a delay, so... There's also that to take into consideration. So some of you guys, probably mo most if not all of you guys, are probably ahead of me. That's the legend right there. Can it powers? Yeah, well, I just saw the first pitch, so... Uh, there you go, James Bow. Don't spoil nothing. No spoilers! No spoilers, people! Zero spoilers. Thank you very much. Because last match was fucking ridiculous. You got Dodgers all the way? Well, I, uh, I'm i going to humbly uh, deny that and, and hope... That it is the Astros that win. Astros haven't won a World Series ever. Uh, so that's why I'm pulling for them. And the city of Houston, you know. Astros won, Bodine? Wow. What was the score? So I can call my bookie. Put it all on this. Astros win 1-0. Wow. I find that hard to believe. The game took five minutes. A Khalil Mack rookie out of a top pack. Well, you know, if you, if you could tell me the product... Or the, uh, you know, what else? If, if I could actually see what it looks like, I could probably tell you. Um, but just going off the top of the dome, you'd probably get like maybe 15, 20 bucks for it. Maybe. If it's graded, maybe more. Maybe like five bucks more. Altuve almost had the error, or whoever that was, McCullers. No, it was Altuve. Yeah, game is in the first inning, I know that. Two outs. Uh, who is that? Corey Seager almost got one on Altuve. First game was boring to you? First game was okay. The second game was amazing. Damn, the second game was pretty sweet. Oh, this comes a monster, Justin Turner. I don't think the pitcher's thrown a strike yet. Yankees Dodgers would have been huge for the hobby. The the team that would have been amazing for for the network. Well, if you look at the right Mexican ass McBapa, it's actually pretty nice.
Well, I mean, there's, I mean, it, 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 it was subtle if you, if you, you know, if all Hispanics are Mexicans, which I guess it, I guess that's what, that's what it is. Henry, uh, you know, yeah, every Mexican, every, see, every Hispanic is a Mexican, you know what I'm saying? Henry Ellenson for the Pistons, that is not a Mexican. Number 10, that's pretty sweet. What else we got here? Me, I'm super fly. Super duper fly. It is what it is, McBaba. Oh, Gordon Hayward, back when he had two legs. USA. <laughs> uh, we're just fucking around, Braden. Well, technically, I'm Cuban, you know, because I'm in Miami, so there's also that. Jason Tatum heat right there. Exactly. The Miami Mexicans are Cuban. Exactly. You're exactly right. Uh, my fellow Snowflake. Tatum drop. Uh, my dude said he wanted someone to drop it in the chat. So considering... There, I guess that's good enough. The Tatum drop. Put this up. There we go. All right. That's the second Jake, Jason uh, Tatum I've pulled. From what I can see so far, it's uh, it's about two huge rookies per case. I have yet to see Alonzo Ball. Um. And chances are that it's it's probably not going to come out of this case, because at this point I feel like it's just you know like a like it just does not exist. Monte Morris for the Nuggets. I don't know, McBapa. You know, with the with the beard that I got going on right now, uh, I might low key pass off as you know as an insurgent or something. That's why I stay away from Middle America. Middle America is where the. Uh, Yeah, I will say no more. Although I do love the mid, the you know, Middle America is actually pretty cool. Very, uh, very loving people, or so I thought. Why is that, McBaba? Because there's nothing else. Like, everybody else is the same. You know? White with thinning hair with a meth addiction. Am I, am I in the ballpark? You Darvish is pitching for the Dodgers. Oh, shit. They want to try some of that chocolate. Hey. Where is it that I, I got to go to Montana? I'm sure there's some cute. I'm sure there's probably maybe two cute girls in all of Montana. I like I like my chances. I'm down. 
I'm gonna go to Montana and get me all kinds of, of strange. And you're gonna be my right hand man, McBaba. Your friend gets pulled over for driving too nice of a truck? What? I wanna be killing it in my Honda Civic. Oh, you mean you mean Mexican, McBaba? By the way, I hope his family is doing well, man, because if he does have family back in Puerto Rico, those peeps are going through it. Seven kids? Yeah, that sounds like a Puerto Rican. You Darvish is uh, looking a little shook right now. Somebody's getting pulled over. I like how you had to... <laughs> I like how you had to preface it like that. You Darvish does not look like he has it today. First man up and he hits a double. Nice, McBobble. Scholarship. Well, listen, baseballs, where is that? With my with my people from Puerto Rico. They come out the womb asking for big league chew. You know what I'm saying? Of course there are James Bodine. They're definitely having some tough times out there, though. Sucks, man. <laughs> that guy is something else. No, hold on. Hold on. I think am I I think it's I think there it is. Oh snap. And it's numbered to twenty five. Lonzo Ball of the Lakers boom. Ball and Tatum. That's money right there. That is money right there. Nice looking with the purple and gold in the background with the Laker colors. Nice looking card. Corners are solid. Very nice. Oh, IG ready for show. You know I'm putting that thing up like right now. Taking a picture of it right now. Instagram incoming.
Boom. On the gram. That's a sweet card. All that dust on the top though is kind of uh. That's a top loader. Should probably switch that out. Give us some new sleeve action. Yeah, I'll do that later. Yes. Just to show that guy one time. Okay, so uh, finally, we've seen the Lonzo Ball. And it only took five cases. And it only took five cases. At least we know it exists. Kyle Wilger of the Raptors with the auto. Dirt and whiskey there for the Mavs. Malachi Richards in there for the Kings to 199. That's it for that box. And the Lonzo Ball is really nice looking. Put it in a proper sleeve. In a proper top loader. Doesn't have dust all over it. That is sweet. So the Lonzo Ball does exist. Uh, it just turns out that it, it might just be number 25. It might just be extremely low. Somebody sniped your bopper. It is what it is, bopper. You win some, you lose some, but you live. You live to fight another day. What up, D-Rich? My man, how you doing?
got that fire. <laughs> I got that fire. Sipping on that Jamaican rum. There you go. Well, McBop, I'm going to say this. My birthday is in like a few weeks, so if you want to send me a little care package, you know, that'd be nice. <laughs> well, don't send it to Rip City. Uh, I, I can give you details on that. Yeah, exactly. Put it to Cardboard Moses. You Darvish, it's out the inning. How many boxes I got? I got seven boxes still. Whole oh boy. Jawan Evans for the Clippers with the auto. Really, Papa? Well, it's always nice to have an insider. Always nice. It's about to, it's about to become legal nationwide, so... I think they, they're starting to see that uh, it's just... Stupid at this point to keep fighting it. Might as well make money off it. Uh, those, whenever those cards are backwards, I always assume they're freaking autos. Put any point, 600. We're at a thousand right now. That replaces an auto. That sucks. I always combine panini points. Last night we had a we had a case that had fourteen hundred panini points total. I don't know what you can get with that, but there you go. There you go. Not here in Florida though. Not here in Florida. Hold on. This John Collins is the 25. That deserves a sleeve. Bloop, bloop. 1,400 points equals $47. Huh. The case hit. <laughs> well, Rod, Rod, you saw we pulled the, the, the Lonzo ball, right? We pulled a Lonzo Ball and a Jason Tatum just now. I'm not sure if you're into the basketball, but those are pretty good cards. That's nice to see the Lonzo Ball. Of course I did, Camilo. I just uh, haven't had a chance to work on the store. Because I've been doing eBay breaks so far today. And it's likely going to be all day.
Bellinger off the bat. Watch Bellinger hit a solo home run. Got him swinging. That is, it is a good case so far, Simpson. I've seen some cases that are rough. What is it, the number two or the number three pick? That's pretty good. <clears throat> now we just need the folds to complete the trifecta. What's up, Bergy? What is it, McBapo? What can 1500 get you? What is Diaz? I was going to say Malik Monk in here too. That would have been crazy. I'm glad you guys you could get some cool stuff with the points. I've uh, I've actually never been on the website to check it out. This Rudy Gobert is number 25. The team leader insert there for the Jazz. E.K. Anigbogu with the auto for the Pacers. Looking like a baller right there. Like, yeah, I did that NBA stuff. Hit the De'Aaron Fox auto last night. That was cool. Aaron Gordon's been killing it this year, too. Got six more to go. Six more. Nice. A Jason Kidd autograph to go with the Lonzo Ball. 
They've been comparing them, saying they have similar games. I can kind of see it. The Catman there with the team leader insert. Evan Turner's a 99 there for the Blazers. Did some guy just steal a base? Hey, some guy stole a base so I can steal a taco. You. Yeah! You're still doing that, right? Steal a base, steal a taco. So for that box, oh, I'm just Taco Bell has that deal, man. If they steal a base, they steal a taco. I mean, listen, Mbappe, you know by now my sense of humor is such that that shit don't phase me. I can't say the same for everybody else, so I mean. The Grown. There you go. That's the best thing to do. Is just don't care. Just go with it. You know, too many people these days are easily offended. Like, get a sense of humor. Since when did we start raising pussies in this country? Oh my God! You can't say that. That's offensive. Oh my God! No. It's a joke. Stop being a pussy. Uh, 2008 was the year that we started raising pussies. What what was the event, Ra Ra? What was the event? Whoa, I am not going down that slippery slope. So how about those dolphins? Man, it's gonna take forever. I've got it down to like about two and a half hours. We fit Alonzo and we fit a Tatum. 
What other hotness you got for me? Man, Mavericks had a good break. JJ Barea, along with the Jason Kidd auto. Means we should get another one. Unless it's Panini points. But let's find out. So far we got a thousand Panini points. 600 points and 400 points. The Astros just hit a homer, huh? Yuli, the rookie, baby. The 40-year-old rookie. With the solo shot. Is he really? Well, there's the auto right there. It's going to be for the Trailblazers, Caleb Swanigan. Yeah, he, he looks Cuban. <laughs> he looks Cuban. Oh, I love... I know I'm not Cuban, but that's still my people. Hispanics, we're all one people. We're all related. Even if you're born in a different country, we're all related. His hair is amazing. <laughs> uh, Simpson, I have no idea what you're talking about. Man, when it rains, it pours out there. Nice in, in Houston, huh? And damn, I didn't mean to make that pun. Well, Prism came out already. That is a fact, Bapa. White power. At one point, you know, at, at some point I should say, that's all that's going to separate us, you know? Everybody's having sex with everybody now, which is pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome. And eventually we're all going to be like maybe my skin color, maybe a little lighter. And the only thing that will differentiate us is going to be the color of our hair and the color of our eyes. YouTube chat is showing. Can somebody respond to that dude? On, on for, the, for my YouTube guys? Because I'm, I'm, clearly I'm not able to respond to that dude. And I don't think he has uh, audi uh, audio. Yeah, I forget that YouTube's also on a major delay. Uh, well, we're not doing any basketball prisms because that product hasn't released yet. When it releases, we'll put it up on eBay. Uh, and we've only had a thousand put any points so far. Ra Ra, stop spoiling shit! No spoilers!
Yeah, where I'm at right now, some dude with a beard is at bat. Also, McBapa, by the transitive property, you got to root for the Astros, right? Because then if the Astros win the World Series, it's kind of like you won the World Series. You know what I'm saying? Well, Tully, we'll do the NT Baseball once I'm done with this break. Uh, this NBA Hoops break is, is insane. Exactly, Bob. I like I like your style. That guy that with the beard, what's his name? Gaddis that's up to bat. At least he's up to bat for me where I'm at right now. That dude has like no swag. He has no gloves on. I think he has like maybe something on like his for his you know his traps or something. For his elbow, or whatever that is, but he don't got no swag on him, dog. Like, put some gloves on or something, dude. For the Warriors, Jordan Bell with the auto. Which means we should see one more. Another Trailblazer Auto, Damon Stoudemire with the auto. <laughs> Teach him the ways of the force. Yeah, I noticed Carlos Beltran there. That was so random. You know, considering I don't watch baseball. I watch it in spurts. I really only watch the World Series. Well, you never know, McBapa. What if there's like a Darth Vader on the Dodgers side? What if you Darvish awakens the dark side right, right now? It brings balance to the force. This is this true. This is true. The necessary balance. Spoken like a true master, McBapa. I got four boxes left. Whew! Almost there. It's been a pretty good case. Uh, but I'll be honest, it's not fun to break. <laughs> Judge need, just needs to do some more training. You know? And he'll, he'll get there. Oh, that's the main, go the, the ghost Yoda is the true Yoda. You know, he is one with the force.
Ooh. It's 3 0, which means this dude hit the triple. There's zero outs. Where I'm at now, Gonzalez is on. Uh... Come on, Big Bopper, stop giving your boy spoilers, dog. All right, cool. As long as the Astros win, because I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for the Astros. I just want a good game, dude. Game two was pretty, pretty sick. Sim Diddy, that's you. Simpson or whatever. Yo, Yuli Gurriel's hair is out of this world. What a, what a, that's, that, le, oh, oh, legit, that guy's a Cuban. Oh, shit, that's off the wall. So the guy on second is going to score. Well, there you go, Sim Diddy. I'm glad that I, you know, I got you what you wanted. You know, uh, be uh, just be happy that you know. Right now, we're in the honeymoon stages. You know, everything's good. You know, but uh, I hope you still like me. You know, even when I don't hit you something, because I hate to admit it, but it's only a matter of time. I just gotta be honest with you. Prism is the bowman of basketball. Well, we all you know we do get always that new hotness. I haven't posted that signature series archives yet, though, on, on the website. Haven't really had time. Uh, I'll try to put that up on there today. Well, I likely won't be getting out of the office till like 6, 7 in the morning. Again. Yay! Well, Jalen Brown is going to blow up, dude. He's been having a pretty good season so far. And he's only going to get better. Celtics got some nice players. Mm -mm, more Panini points. So, it looks like you could read the future, uh, Sim Diddy. We, now we have 1,400 Panini points. You should probably play the lottery. That's kind of scary. Hey, it's only his second year. I think the kid's like what? I think he's maybe 21 now. I think he just had his 21st birthday. Uh, auto for the Nuggets. Juan Hernan Gomez. Well, Ra Ra, I could have told you that about Florida State. Uh, expect the trend to continue. All those recruits that were going to Florida State, guess where they're going to start going now? The U, though. All right, we got three boxes to go. They're losing to Boston College. Huh. 
That's hilarious. And all they did was lose their quarterback. So Simp, how do you feel about uh about your boy Gordon? That was tough to watch. Yeah, it's a shame what happened to Gordon. My thing is though, like, why would you throw alley oop to go to to him of all people? Like, that guy's really not a dunker. Like, I don't. I never. I never understood why they ran that play in the first place. Especially with somebody down there to undercut him. Yeah, freak injury for sure. He didn't, he, he and he landed so super awkward. It's a shame, dude, because the Celtics could have had a, a sick team. They're doing pretty well without him. Imagine what they could have been doing with him. Astros are doing the damn thing. I can give spoilers now because uh, y'all ahead. So uh, it is what three zero. Baseball's fun to watch, man. I think that's how I know I'm getting older. I I'm enjoying watching baseball. Oh, don't no worry, Sim Diddy. I'm. I understand the feeling because I uh, I'm a huge Heat fan. So trust me, I can talk about the Heat till I'm blue in the face. So I know the feeling, man. Geek out, my man. Plus, I'd be pretty stoked too if I pulled the Jason Tatum in his first NBA, you know, jersey. Finally getting out. Damn. Wow. Celtics having a hell of a break. Gordon Hayward with the auto right there. Nice break for the Celtics. It would have been nicer if he was in his uh, Celtics uniform. Not that I can remember. Just those two. I'll do the recap at the end.
some Darius Thornwell is the other auto for the Clippers. It is four zero. Speaking of the Celtics, the Heat play the Celtics tomorrow. I actually might go to that game. We play at 8 o'clock. Hoping to go to it. That's it for that box. Got two left. What what's wrong, McBapa? Um, I think those are like really the main ones, honestly. Man, the Astro Bats just hit a ton in Houston. Oh, you want to go to the Heat Celtics game? Well, I don't know how far Boston is from you, or Miami for that matter. Obviously, the game's in Miami. And one of the cool things you can do down here in Miami, you know, go to a Heat game. And tickets aren't that expensive. Uh, I had somebody look in there for me, and they told me they had tickets for like 30 bucks. Yeah, that is true, McBuff, that is true. But you know what? You, you, you could kind of live like a king where you're at, you know? I can only imagine the cost of living there is like fucking stupid cheap. A three bedroom house is a thousand a month. Oh my god. Dude. A mo the mortgage for that down here in Miami? It's probably is at least twice that. It's more like twenty five hundred, bro. It's, it's ridiculous. Damn, you Darvish didn't even get past the second inning, dude. Who is that, Maeda? Damn, the Astros are no joke in Houston. Well, you know what they say, at least in basketball, they say a series doesn't start until the home team loses. Dodgers lost at home. So we shall see. Damn, dude, I'm, I, I'm, I'm low. Um, you know what? I might move to Montana and tell Gelf to ship all the product out there and I'll break from Montana and live like a king. Living in Miami is so expensive. But the perks, man, the perks. Alright, almost done with this case. And it's only going to take me two and a half hours. Awesome. Damn it, my man owns a building. So you live in your building too? 
Bobo? Uh, you know, I don't mean to get too personal, dude. I'm just curious. My curiosity does get the best of me, so I apologize if I offended you. Ah, I got you. Dude, that's a hell of a deal. Kobe Bryant to 99 there. That is a sweet looking card. Oh, you're in Massachusetts too, Sim Diddy? Yeah, I, I have a friend that lives out there. And he tells me it's expensive too. It's still not nearly as expensive as Miami though. It's pretty stupid. We got my Boston boys out there. Sim Diddy, are you also a Patriots fan? You know, seeing as how you're a Celtics fan, it's, you know, stands to reason that you might be also a uh, Patriots fan. All things Boston. Yeah, I figured. The Luis Montero for the Pistons auto. What's up, Lucas? What's what's going on there? Well, I figure there's some some funkiness going there. I'm not seeing the chat. Trying to get the chats to reconnect here. OG Anunobi with the auto for the Raptors. Oh, hold up. That's one of the best rivalry in sports, though. The Red Sox Yankees. Put this away. We got the last box coming up. <laughs> I would say I like Tom Brady though. <laughs> yeah, not me. If I go to Boston, I'm probably going to get in fights. Because first and foremost, fuck the Patriots and Tom Brady. And uh, in that whole organization. Uh, yeah. I could care less. I could care less about the Celtics though. I mean. Aside from 2008, haven't really done much. Recently, you know what I mean? Don't mind me, Sim Diddy. I just like to talk shit. Last box, finally! Woo! Took forever. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, you hit my cards, bro. You can talk all the shit you want. <laughs> nice, man. I'm glad you have a sense of humor, man. I just, I hate Tom Brady because he's too good. He's just too good. That is true, Lucas. You do have a point there. Um, but my thing for that one, too, is the fact that, like, unless he's also using, like, 10, 15 different bank accounts to pay for them, or 15 different, you know, or X amount of payment methods, we know who he is. So, you know, you can try to be smart and work your way around it, but uh, we also have our ways, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he Tom Brady's just winning too much in life. You know what I'm saying? He's dating a fucking a model who's you know one of the hottest chicks in the world still, even though she's old or older or whatever. Who cares? She's still hot. Uh, he's the greatest quarterback to ever like throw a football. 
Yeah, exactly. Not only a model, but the model. Like, like the chick is a Victoria's Secret model. Like, ridiculous. And I, I would listen. I don't. I'm, I, I, I believe you one thousand million percent, McBaba. Sex sells way more than football. Uh, Tom Brady's a good-looking man, but uh, there is nothing better than a good-looking woman. Listen, as a die-hard Dolphin fan, it pains me to say it, but Tom Brady is the well, he's the greatest quarterback I've ever seen in my lifetime. Greatest team ever is bullshit. That belongs to the 72 Dolphins. Let's not get disrespectful here, people. Until there is another undefeated team that is the greatest team in football history, and there is no debating it. Patriots had their chance, and Davies, David Tyree said, Fuck you. 2017 Eagles might be better. Well... We got to see. I mean, Carson Wentz is playing, like, out of control. He's playing out of control. Like, he's playing Aaron Rodgers good. Well, he does have the best coach. Uh, well, he is, he is a great coach. I can't lie. Belichick is a great coach. He's an even better cheater. Well, listen. Aside from Aaron Rodgers' one Super Bowl, his numbers are really good. Like, there's no denying that. And in my humble opinion, I feel like there's a lot more competition in the NFC than there is in the AFC. Well, All-American, you got to consider that those five teams are five separate different teams with, like, different players. You know that? I think the only thing that those five teams have in common are Belichick and Brady. Exactly, like Peyton Manning numbers. Like, numbers-wise, great quarterback. But, like, Super Bowls? No, nah, I don't know about that. That's the thing with Brady, too. Like, he has the numbers and he has the rings. Like, there's really just, like... I, I gave up. Like, I still hate him because he's so good. Gary Payton of the Bucks, though. Nothing there. I think we need to get like one more auto out of this. Almost done. Yeah, the AFC East has been trash ever since, you know, Tom Brady. Justin Patton, though, for the Mavericks. That's likely the last auto we're going to get in this box. And it's been a pretty good case. If you have the Celtics and the Lakers, that is. And what's in this here? Oh, yeah. Pats have a great organization. You know, they, they have an owner that's willing to pay the referees the amount of money needed to get the bullshit calls. And, you know, they, they just really have everything going out there. And everyone buys into the system, which is crucial. Belichick's a hell of a coach. Alright. So I'll do a recap, of course. Uh, first things first, though. Got to random some points here. And y'all know how I get down. I combine points, folks. So we got 400, 400, 600. That's 1,400 Panini points in total. Going to one lucky person. Who is it? Uh, I'm not sure. We're going to find out, though. Go big or go home. That is my motto. Go big or go home. There's the random list with the teams on there. All teams are there. 
Let's roll the dice. Come on back. Ooh, snake eyes. We don't do that. We're going five times in the random. Top team in the list gets 1,400. Good luck. What up, Bo Sox? Haven't seen you around in a while, man. How's school? Oh damn, I went I went too much. Can I go back, I think? I cannot go back. Alright, luckily though, it is in the YouTube. So I can go on YouTube and see it for the five. Let me see what the five was. Who was on the top of the list when it went five times? Your boy messed up on that random. Luckily though, there is video evidence, which I'm looking at right now. Two times, three times, four times. And the fifth time, the Thunder were on top. So I just checked the video, and the fifth time was the Thunder. Check it out little inception right now for you alright so there's the video yeah I got that Belichick call you know what I'm saying I paid the referees and boom they they manufactured the image for me so straight off of YouTube I paused the video I paused the live stream and you can see we're supposed to go five times I overshot it and went six however I paused the video and at the five spot the top team is the Thunder so the Panini points will be going to the Thunder I hear you Simp Diddy no worries well that's because we also uh, we do uh, stream for the West Coast as well so that's why we have breaks uh, that late, uh, so the West Coast people could get in and see it live as well. So let me write this down. Let's go into the Thunder. And let's do this recap here. It's on the post it note so you know it's real. Go into the Thunder. Recap time. Patton, Timberwolves, Peyton Bucks, Anunobi Raptors, that's a good rookie, Montero Pistons, Thornwell Clippers, Hayward Celtics, Go Hernan Gomez Nuggets, Stoudemire Blazers, Warriors uh, for the Bell, Swanigan Blazers, Barea Mavs, Kid Mavs, uh, Anigbogu Pacers, Evans Clippers, Wilger Raptors, Morris Nuggets, White Spurs, Collis and Pacers, Leaf Pacers, Moore Pelicans, Hart Lakers, Peyton Bucks, Whitey, uh, Withy, I'm sorry, Mavericks, Jackson Kings, White Spurs, Burks Jazz, another Anunobi for the Raptors, that's a good one, Collis and Pacers, Browns Bucks, uh, Hollis Jefferson Nets, Dorsey Hawks, Aldridge Spurs, Hernan Gomez Knicks, Parker Bugs, that's a good one, Dwayne Bacon Hornets, then there was these two cool cards here, both numbered to 10, Dion Waiters of the Heat, Henry Ellenson of the, uh, the Pistons, nice looking cards, numbered to 10, and we hit a Jason Tatum of the Celtics, and the Lonzo Ball finally for the Lakers, numbered to 25, very 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 nice case two to those two dudes right there yeah no max for the ball and Tatum because when they ship out they you know they they bounce around uh, and it could it could you know uh, mess the card up so we don't ship them in mags uh, because yeah it doesn't ship well uh, however my friends that will get out to you 
Uh, it's Friday, so it will get come out. Uh, it will go out to you on Monday, Tuesday, the latest. And that, my friends, was 2017-18 Panini NBA Hoops Basketball 20-box full case break number 5 eBay style. Thank you very much, guys. We'll get it out to you.